Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over to Maryland Matters, and I think this is a topic that everyone, regardless if you live in Maryland, should be aware of and is very interested to know. If it's happening in your city, state, or town, uh, you should do some investigating. And it says local water utility files lawsuit over forever chemicals. Okay? Um, the article was done by Luke Luker. And it says the Washington Suburbs Sanitary Commissions has filed a lawsuit against numerous companies alleging they knowingly polluted the environment with forever chemicals. WSSC said damages received would go towards the cost of updating the water treatment method. In a lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court in Maryland, the utilities named nearly 20 companies, including 3M, DuPont, uh, Clamors, for their manufacturing of fire suppressant forms that contained pre in uh, excuse me polyphoralacol or PFAs. WSSC alleges these companies knowingly concealed the chemicals toxicity from the public. PFAs are also found in things like non-stick frying pans, stained repellent, carpet, and furniture. They are associated with numerous health risks, according to the CDC, including increased cholesterol levels, liver damage, and increased risk of kidney and testic uh, testicular cancer. Excuse me. According to the WSSC, the lawsuit seeks financial damages for any past, present, or future uh, contaminations of its water supply and any changes to wastewater treatment methods. As an organization committed to public health and safety, we owe it to our 1.9 million customers to uh, hold accountable those responsible for producing these pollutants, said WSSC Water Commission Chair uh, Regina Y. Speed Boss in a news release. We are proud of our impressive record of zero drinking water quality violations in our 105 year history and are committed to doing everything in our power to continue the ex uh, exceptional level of excellence, which includes fil uh, filing this lawsuit. According to the news release, the measured amount of PFAs in the drinking water supply is currently low. However, additional water treatment may be required to maintain safe levels, which the utility says it would use uh, lawsuit damages to pay for. The WSSC joined numerous plaintiffs, including the state of Maryland and more than a dozen other states that have sued companies for over PFAs. In June, 3M announced they would pay $10.3 billion to settle the lawsuit. Both DCs and Maryland's attorney generals urged a federal court to, in July to reject the proposal settlement as part of Maryland Matters con uh, content sharing agreement with the WTOP, we feature the article from Luke Lukeson, and then they tell you to click there. But more interestingly, I'm about to shift over to um, the other one to give you a better idea what these forever chemicals are. I have seen one. Um, video on it and things like that and if you think that this is just a small thing think again okay okay so this article was done by uh, UCI public health and it was done in April of 26 of 2023 and it says bridging the gap the health effects of forever chemicals and our drinking water okay the article basically goes on and talks about the PFAs and what it is but more importantly 
this is the lasting effects of PFAs um, and this exposure. Each of us have been exposed to PFA chemicals by consuming contaminated food or using common products made with PFAs. Some of most notorious PFA chemicals accumulate in the body and remain there for years or even decades after exposure and have been shown to cause serious health problems. Uh, scientific studies show that exposure to these forever chemicals can cause a uh, decreased vaccine response to testicular excuse me testicular cancer kidney cancer um, thyroid disease high cholesterol hypertension during pregnancy and other health problems um, now the issue with that is it's, it goes on to also say uh, low-income communities and communities of color are more likely to pay the biological and economic consequences of water contamination including PFA contamination according to a 2019 report approximately 39,000 low-income households roughly around 15 percent more than expected based on U.S. Census data and 295,000 people of color, 22% more than expected in the United States, live within five miles of a site known to be contaminated with PFAs, and these numbers almost certainly underestimate the extent of PFAs, water contamination as no uh, systemic national testing of drinking water supplies of PFAs has occurred since 2013 between, between 2013 and 2015 when only six pfa chemicals were measured using less sensitive laboratory methods than we have now okay over the past nine years the impact of the contamination contaminated water excuse me on population health and racial in a, in a inequalities have been abundantly evident in Flint, Michigan, there as, as a result of what the Michigan Civil Rights Commission described as generational of systemic discrimination and racism. About 100,000 Flint residents were exposed to high levels of lead contamination in Legionnaire's disease outbreak, uh, suspected to have um, originated from the water supply. The children of mothers exposed to the contaminated drinking water had a significantly high low birth weight on average compared to those in other cities, with black babies being disproportionately affected. Researchers have speculated that many black families in Flint may not have had the means to avoid exposure to contaminated water, such as purchasing bottled water or household water treatment devices okay and then it, it continues to go on and on it uh, breaks it down even further um, but this is just not in Flint this is also in Mississippi um, they're having an issue with their water as well and you know it's one of those things that should be a national public outcry to essentially <laughs> you know, find out what they're putting in your water. Um, not only that, my speculation, my theory, um, call it a conspiracy theory or whatever, since these uh, places are located within five miles of urban areas or uh, low income areas and things of that, um, it might also have a uh, effect on uh, people mentally as far as all the you know uh, violence and you know uh, mental health issues that have occurred that are occurring currently um, hey it's just speculation for me this is not grounded in any uh, scientific uh, you know knowledge that you can go check on but I would not be surprised if that had that was a contributing factor to what has been going on um, not just in Maryland but in other places as well I remember a couple of years ago actually I think it was 2019 I seen a report a news report that they did or something like that about Florida 
and they literally found like every drug known to man damn near in the drinking water in Florida so I mean that's just another example and people should be concerned you should want to know why this is happening or why you know your environment has changed dramatically and this may be one of the things why would they put it in low income areas and not in all of the areas you know um especially in flint the low income areas where they are having the issues and it's not just flint it's other places in michigan as well that is low income but if you go you know to other certain parts that are well off um middle class upper class neighborhoods they do not see a change in their drinking water they only wanted to replace the um pipes i believe that's what they said it was in the low income areas and then that's when all the lead and stuff started in flint in michigan and stuff which is very sus to me um they did not care about those people they do not care about these people they do not care about people that live in low income areas um it's just basically you know they just trying to knock them off but then you know these are the same people pointing the fingers at these people and talking about well, all of these people were on, you know, government assistance as far as, you know, getting money because their children have mental issues or their children have lead or some type of, you know, um, mental or physical affliction with them. But these are the same people that are in power that, you know, make the decisions for that state that literally did this to these people. You know, it's no way to getting around it. And then, you know, when people want to get sued or get locked up or prosecuted, everybody wants to point the finger. And the main people usually in those situations, in my opinion, that, you know, had a direct hand in doing it and did not care about the consequences of how it would affect a certain demographic of people or a, 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 a area never get to see justice they never get to see justice you know they always pass it off to you know uh what they call it the the, the, the fall guy and stuff like that you know and they get to live out their lives happily and freely you know with no judgment or anything you know it doesn't you know impact their money or their reputation in the least but that's just my opinion. But I would definitely like to know what you guys think. So drop down in the comment section as we always do. And uh, tell me what you know about these uh, chemicals called Forever uh, in our water supply. You know, um, Regardless if you live in Maryland, I definitely would love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And with that, thank you so much. And I will get back with you in the next one.